Alright guys, um, if you guys haven't seen my video about my ion upgrade, go watch it and then this will make sense, but the trigger stopped hitting the solenoid, wasn't pushing it far enough back, um, because the reason I got it to work and it stopped working was this screw right here is what hits the solenoid and I had it um, on right but it's loose so every time I pull the trigger it would scoot farther back into the trigger and then it wouldn't be hitting the solenoid anymore so I forgot the most important step known to man and that's glue that stuff so I have some Fabri-Tac permanent, permanent adhesive and I am going to glue this motherfucker right into place I thought since I was going to have to do this anyway, I would show you guys what goes into it, but alright, pull the excess away. Try and get some on the other side as well. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but a bunch of glue up in there right now and I'm gonna wait for that to dry and that should hold it in place but overall this trigger from warrior up uh, paintball upgrades warrior gear whatever they're called pretty good um walks really nicely I was getting it at uh, 15 balls a second it was capped but you know if there's no way that I would need to shoot higher than 15 balls per second anyways this is a great trigger I, o I would recommend upgrading the trigger before the board because you can't get all out of the stock iron board what you can with if you have a better trigger. There's no point in uh, upgrading the board if you can't get there with the stock trigger. So upgrade the trigger first. Um, if you guys haven't seen, you have to, of course, remove everything. It's just the trigger frame. I left the grips on because you don't need to take them off. but. Yep, I just thought I could let you know what was happening in my other fail, so I'll see you guys later.